Before I begin to tell you the pros and the cons of washing your natural hair in twist, I obviously need to tell you how to wash your natural hair in twist. There is actually a technique. It doesn't, it's not the same. <laughs> Can I keep that or not? <laughs> Hi lovelies, welcome to my channel, my name is Shane Juliet and today I'll be walking you through the pros and the cons of washing your natural hair in twists. So, I do get a lot of questions about how I'm able to wash my natural hair in twists. I have been doing this since my second year of going natural and that's since 2012. Yeah, so 2012-2013 and it's really been what has helped me grow my natural hair longer and faster. If you don't know what my natural hair looks like, if you're new to this channel, you can see pictures <laughs> everywhere. Okay, and you can see more on my Instagram as well. So, my hair is currently in Bantu knots. I have been protective styling in Bantu knots due to the, the hair growth challenge that I'm doing and we're two months in, so yay! So if you don't know what that's about, I will link the video to and the all the blog post in the description box to help you grow healthy natural hair in the next few months. So it's a six month healthy hair journey, but then it could be extended to a whole year. It depends on the response that we have together as a community. So just before we begin, I have all that down and then I also have two guides which are my ebooks on how to grow your natural hair faster and longer which are 50 tips which can really set you off on the right track without all the clutter, all the information that you find online that literally helps you answer all the questions that you may have concerning how to grow your natural hair and what you might be doing wrong, everything is on there so you can also purchase that in the link in my description box below. So the same goes for my natural hair journal which literally holds your hand throughout this whole hair growth journey and your natural hair journey as well and guides you through different regimens depending on your hair length and also guides you through like products that from brands that you can trust and use as well so back to the topic so before i begin to tell you the pros and the cons of washing your natural hair in twist i obviously need to tell you how to wash your natural hair in twist there is actually a technique it doesn't it's not the same <laughs> Can I keep that or not? <laughs> Okay, so there is actually a technique to wash your, washing your natural hair in twists because, you know, I do hear people saying that whenever the water hits their hair, all the twists come undone, their hair shrinks, and there's really no difference, and it's really stressful, twisting and untwisting, okay. Okay, so the first thing you need to know as to how to twist is if, the, if your hair is fine, then you go for smaller twists. If your hair is thick, then you can gamble with larger twists. So go between... 8 to 12 sections on your natural hair depends on, as I said, depends on the thickness of your hair. And what you do is when you twist, you make sure that you twist the, you leave the roots to be a little bit loose and then you twist the middle and the ends to be firm. Like the way you would twist in a twist out, you twist the ends to be firm. And the reason for this is once the water hits, the weight of the water usually drags our hair down, it weighs the hair down. So once it weighs the hair down, if your twists are not twisted properly, like the way you do the twist outs, I do have a video on how to twist your natural hair properly for twist outs, so you can also check that out as well. I will link it right now up in the, up, <laughs> in the, with the eye. So yeah, when you, when the water hits and it touches your hair, it weighs your hair down and if your twists are not firm enough, then it automatically unravels due to you not twisting properly. So, and then the reason also for you to leave your roots loose is for the shampoo and your hands, for you to be able to work the shampoo throughout the roots of your hair without causing more tangles and without, you know, having to break those twists apart. So, as you can see in this video. Okay, so, what some people don't know is you can also shampoo and deep condition, like do your whole wash day and twist, you can. It's really all about technique. But once you're done shampooing your roots and then you pour some water, you can squeeze the shampoo also, like the lather of the shampoo. If you're using a shampoo that does lather, you squeeze the lather of the shampoo to the length of the hair as well. But remember that the product build up is mostly on the roots of your hair, except if you use like heavy products like gel 
or sticky products then you make sure that you also apply the shampoo to the length of your hair and then you rinse it out try to do this maximum of two times if except if your hair is extremely dirty then you can stretch to three it's only best to reapply your shampoo twice on wash day so as not to dry your hair out all right so for deep conditioning you can also squeeze in the deep conditioner into the twist and then also apply to the your i also apply to the roots of your hair not your scalp just the roots of your hair and then you'll put a shower cup over it for about 10 to 15 minutes depending on the type of conditioner you're using and just allow it to sit and you will still see that when you unravel your hair even the hair in between the twists has been properly conditioned so you don't have to loosen your hair in between shampoo in between shampooing and deep conditioning to putting your deep conditioner all right so once you're done you also rinse that out it's only when you're styling that you can go ahead to uh, take down your each twist and then do the loc method or do the lco method depending on what works for you so that's like that's the breakdown of how to actually wash your natural hair in twists Okay now, so the first pro in, oh, this place echoes. <laughs> okay, so now the first pro with washing your natural hair in twists is simply the fact that you have access to your scalp. Like for those of us who have really thick hair, it's really difficult to be able to access your scalp and cleanse it properly. So as you can see, like with mine, it's a super thick, especially at the roots. I'm going through a lot right now, but then my hair is also is still super thick on the roots. So the second pro tip is literally the reason why I recommend wash your natural hair to in twist to every single natural. And this is simply because it helps reduce a single strand knots. And tangles and which natural doesn't want their hair to be tangle free and single strand not free like that is the ultimate and that really helps you and stops you from trimming as often as you would have and then it also like helps you keep your ends looking healthy for longer so that's like my best pro tip for washing your natural hair twist okay so the third one is actually a bit relative I don't know if it applies to everyone but it was only when I began to wash my natural hair and twist that I noticed that, that the volume of my hair began to increase like extremely. So I'm not promising you that this will happen when you begin to wash your natural hair and twist, but I'm just saying like for me, this is what happened to me. Okay, so number four is ease of styling. Like it's so easy to style your hair once you've already sectioned it. Like these are literally the sections that I used to wash my hair and I easily just used the Bantu knots. So I do have product on my hair right now. I just literally like moisturize it. So in case you're wondering like, why is your hair white? So yeah, I just sprayed some leave-in conditioner on my hair and then I oiled my scalp very lightly with like oils that my hair likes and yeah those are just in case you're wondering like why my band you not are all white <laughs> but yeah so that's number four pro tip on why you should wash your natural hair into it finally number five is a shrinkage for us type four naturals especially 4c naturals you know like we know the struggle of shrinkage like no one will believe that this hair is waist length and that's i get it all the time like how like people will be like it's a lie like they come and they pull my hair themselves and they're like what but yeah so we have the struggle and i would call it i i sometimes i don't call it the struggle i also call it the blessing of having like this much shrinkage but i know people would disagree with me on that but honestly i do like my shrinkage i do like the fact that my hair can be short today and then i can stretch it tomorrow and then it will look like it, and it will just blow everyone's mind so yeah for me it's the blessing of shrinkage so i do just love the fact that it helps with it helps with reducing shrinkage and you know shrinkage is also the cause of string strand knots and is also the cause of tangles and a lot more so and then it also helps with reducing split ends I forgot to say that so yes so tip number six is that it really helps to reduce a split ends on my hair because I've been doing this for a long time and I've mastered the technique so remember that it will take you a while some people it, some people learn this a lot faster but then some people it takes a long time but then just keep trying don't give up okay finally to the cons there are not many cons to wash your natural hair and twist. I would say like if you don't twist, if you don't rinse out your conditioner properly, 
you will definitely notice residue left in between the twists after you're done washing and after you're done rinsing and it's very annoying especially when you think that everything is out and then you're losing a twist and then you still see conditioner lifting but then that's the thing the trick is to make sure that while you're rinsing your your natural hair in those twists with conditioner in them squeeze it make sure you squeeze it and once you squeeze it properly all that conditioner that's stuck in between oozes out and it gets rinsed out. Otherwise, you will be left with residue in your hair. And then another con that I've noticed is with new products. I'm usually not able to tell how a new product reacts to my hair when it's in twists already. So most times I do have to test the product out of the shower first to see like if it works, if it doesn't work. But that's for me, it could be different for you. But yeah, I that's what I've noticed like in terms of new products. So for the last con is definitely the fact that, that your twist will definitely unravel if you do if you do twists that are too large and if you don't twist properly so make sure that you do twist properly as i explained and as i showed you earlier and make sure that your twists are not too large and just like medium sizes are perfect always perfect so another thing i just remember that i didn't say is when you're washing your natural hair in twists please wash it in only one direction i do recommend washing your hair down like this so that your cuticles will remain in the same position don't shampoo your hair this way and then flip your hair over to condition or vice versa because that ends up making different strands go in different places and then that will cause breakage which is what we're trying to avoid in the first place so yeah so that's all for this video if you do have any questions on how to wash your natural hair and twist or more pros and cons depending on your experience please let me know and then i do know that every natural has what works for them this is what has worked for me for years and that's why i recommend it to you and then you can also find 50 more tips in my book and how to grow your natural hair faster and longer in the description box below and a journal that goes well with it as well so thank you all so much for watching this video don't forget to live well live great and pray always god loves you and god bless you take care lovelies